Hi everybody, Catfish Jones here. It is Wednesday, September 20th. Fall is right around the corner, and I wanted to welcome you all to the CFJ vlog. I am here once again at home base on my front stoop, and wanted to share a little bit of a story, a little bit of a song, and bring my mandolin out to share in the party with us. So, um, and it's a bit of a long story, so let me just jump right in because it does begin in 2008, I think, give or take a summer, but I think it was summer 2008. Um, the main thing I remember is that gasoline was expensive. It's about double what it is now, and for me that was triple or more from what I was used to. So it certainly made an impact on me, and that summer I had to spend without a vehicle because my car broke down and I couldn't afford to get it replaced until the fall. So not only was I very frustrated with vehicles at the time because of the fuel issue and everything else, but I also then had to deal with out of a car, and the result of that meant that I had to organize a ride to work, basically to and from work every day, and that it, it adds to the stress of life. And other people, I'm sure, have been in this situation as well and, and know what I'm talking about. Um, the compounding factor for me also was that I, in this situation, was living about 45 minutes outside of town, living in this tiny little burg. Um, way out in the country. It was a fun experience, but then that summer my car broke down. I didn't have the cash to get it fixed right away. It took all summer for me to raise that dough, and in that time I had to organize a ride. Now I had to organize a ride 45 minutes outside of town, but I was very fortunate that the, the person who most often was able to give me that ride was a close friend of mine, the late Shotgun Brock, who did, you know, champion for me there give me the ride to work. We both worked at the same place and lived very close to the same place. So we got to double up, head into work, and we got to spend a lot of good time just, you know, shooting the breeze about life and whatnot. And uh, those are very cherished memories for me. We also got to play some songs because I would try to bring my trusty mandolin when I could and get to strum up a little bit, this and that. I don't remember all the songs. I only remember a couple, and this is one of them um, because it really has to do with my frustrations with owning a car, and I've known a lot of people since then that don't, you know, get into the car thing. My late father-in-law is a great example who, in, since the 70s, just said, nope, not going to do it, and never really went back to owning a car. Took taxis for the latest half of his life, for the most part, and just didn't want anything to do with it. Um, so, for me, this song kind of represents those frustrations, even though I did eventually raise the cash to get the car fixed, got my pedal back to the metal, and had the ability to ramble, because Catfish is born to ramble. We'll get there on another vlog. But this one, I guess, is just about the frustrations of not having that car. It's called Internal Combustion Blues. You may have heard it elsewhere on the channel. And uh, if not, look up that older video. It's a lot of fun, a little closer to that time frame, um, but still after the fact. It goes like this. It's about good times and frustration, so... When gas was at its highest, I was at my lowest. Internal combustion blues. I had no place to go, I had no way to get there, save for these two trusty shoes. And if the going got tough, I got gone. The road was enough to depend on, and everywhere I went, I saw all Just 
good advice from a friend But if death traps don't you know And if you don't I just told you so Internal combustion blues And any place you go You're better off to get there On the back of the two dollar shoes Throw away the keys to your automobile Vow to never get behind the wheel Again, if you can, it's just good advice from your good old friend. Come on now, internal combustion blues. I said, come on, one and all, right now, internal combustion blues. So that was Internal Combustion Blues, another fun one here on the CFJ vlog, and I'm glad I got to share it with you. Um, as always with these songs and me, it's, it's uh, every week it's kind of digging up old bones, it's kind of looking at old memories and, and reliving them a little bit to get back into the place where you were to get to them, and so for me it's very good to share these, good to reach back there and access those memories, you know, those little pathways in your brains, they, they need to be remembered to strengthen those memories and I really love getting back there and hitting memories that I don't I don't often recall so that was uh, that was my joy and my pleasure this week um, of course there's a lot of other things going on you you may have seen a couple of uh, extras from me this week I've got a couple more coming up I've got a whole bunch of fun stuff going on not only with myself I'm gonna do a solo show in November trying to work up towards live streaming that show so I might do a test live stream here or there before that of course, we got Halloween coming up, and that means Normal Reaction's going to be playing a show or two, maybe even a little bit for Oktoberfest, depending on how October plays out for us. And at work, there's always Blues Masters and the stuff like that that goes on, and that is always a, a pretty big to-do, and maybe I'll get a chance to share some of that with us as well. So, um, in the end, I think it's going to be a very fun autumn for us. We're going to have a fun season, kind of get closer to uh, the goal of a full year of weekly vlogs and maybe by the end of this full year of weekly vlogs I've got enough extra content that I'm doing a lot more close to daily stuff if not every daily or something like that so those are kind of my goals they might change on a whim whichever way the wind blows and in Kansas that could be any direction at any moment regardless of what it was two moments ago so um, one last thing I did want to let everybody know that I am using my awesome Ninja Turtles pick right here, which my friends will know what that's all about, and uh, it was very a little sturdier than I like, but that makes it a lot better for mandolin, and uh, makes the whole thing a lot more fun. Here on the CFJ blog, 9 2017 17 9 20, however you want to say it, it's been fun. I hope you guys have a good week. We'll see you later. Cheers.